Good morning, Year 10, and we're back with another video looking at that surface area. This time, we're looking at the surface area of cylinders. Now, first thing we need to understand is that there are two kinds of cylinders. There are closed cylinders and there are open cylinders. So a closed cylinder is kind of like a circular prism, if you will. You've got two circular ends on either sides connected with a sort of folded rectangle. Um, and this is just kind of like anything like a, a Pringles packet with the lid on or a tin of canned tomatoes are examples of closed cylinders. Okay, when you've got a lid or a bottom and a lid on the top. An open cylinder is when you don't have that uh, lid or bottom on it. So it's kind of like a, a hollow pipe um, or an empty toilet roll or something like that where you've got this folded bit but there's no sort of physical circle on either end there. Okay, so when we're finding the surface area of a cylinder, we have to kind of imagine what its net would be like, which is a little different um, in terms of how it folds out. You're going to have circles on either end, okay, and they're the faces. And what you end up with is a rectangle like this in between the circles. And that rectangle, as you would, if you were to fold it up back into that 3D shape, sort of curves around the circumference of those circles. Okay, so you get this kind of interesting effect uh, where the length of this, of this part of the rectangle equals uh, the circumference of the circle. So remember the circumference of a circle, uh, which you did a few weeks back, has the um, formula 2 pi r. So that's the circumference as like the perimeter around a circle. And we don't want to get that confused with the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. So let's write that the area is pi r squared. Now the way we remember which is which is this one has the squared in it and we're talking about an area which is in unit squared. A circumference is just a length around a circle, so that doesn't have the squared in it. So that's how we can remember between the two. They're really similar formulas. Two, this one has a two, this one has the two as the power instead. It's kind of funny how some things are like that. Um, however, we need to use these formulas in order to find out the surface area of cylinders. Okay, so we can sort of consider this circle A1 we can consider this rectangle A2. Um, and in general, we can call that length the height of the cylinder. Sometimes, you know, you might lay it flat and the height is horizontal, which doesn't fully make sense, but it's often referred to the height as in if you were to sit the cylinder like you would a can on a bench. Um, and then this length here is going to be the circumference because it's the one that wraps around uh, the edge. So that length of the rectangle is going to have to be 2 pi r. Okay. That is uh, the length of our rectangle. So in general, when we are calculating the surface area of a cylinder, I'll give you the general formula which we've derived here. Now you can either remember this formula or uh, you can sort of just work it out by drawing a diagram like this. So the surface area, actually I think you are usually given it as a formula so you don't need to memorize it but like I said drawing diagrams can be helpful anyway. Um, so the surface area is going to be 2 times a1 because you've got two circles plus this A2 here, okay? Which means that the surface area is gonna be two times pi r squared, because you've got two circles that you're finding the area of, plus, okay, two pi r, and it's a rectangle, so that's the length of that, and then you're gonna times it by the height. Okay, so for any cylinder, closed cylinder, this is what the surface area is going to be. And you just need to substitute the values given what you uh, have in that particular context. So in this example here, 
our cylinder has a radius of six and a height of 15. So we can substitute our values, two pi six squared times, we can add the times in if we want, plus two pi times six times 15. We didn't have to convert because uh, we have a radius in our question, we don't have a diameter. And now we can plonk that in our calculator and we will get an answer. So it's going to be 2 times pi times 6 squared. Okay, and it's always useful when we're using our calculator to write out this first before we put it in our calculator. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of people who can't be bothered to write this out and they just put their answer. You need to write it out to show how you got there, but also it helps you be careful when you're adding it into your calculator, okay? Because you can compare what you've written to what you put in your calculator. So never skip the step before here, write that down because it shows how you got to where you got to. And often uh, when things are marked, that will be part of the allocation, but it's also just clear communication, understanding how you got the answer you did. Okay. So I've written it just as I have there. I press equals and I have my service area. So it equals 791.681, which we're not given uh, what we should round to. And it's going to be in centimeters squared. Again, still in squared because we're talking about the area. Okay, so we've flattened out our cylinder, we've found our surface area. Now let's try this for an open cylinder, which is actually a bit easier. If we were to just do the net of an open cylinder, it's just a rectangle that's been curled up. So there's only one face of an open cylinder. There's no circles on either end because we don't have a top and bottom. Uh, and this length is just gonna be two pi r, because that's the circumference. And then this length is gonna be H. So surface area is gonna be two pi R H, which we can then substitute our values, which equals two times pi times eight times 23. Okay, don't forget to write that out first before you put it in your calculator, two pi times eight, times 23 equals and there's our surface area for this cylinder which is a bit bigger even though it's lacking lids um, it's much longer and wider so the surface area is bigger than the previous example okay and we're again in centimeters squared so that is how we calculate the surface area of an open cylinder, much more straightforward. We just need to be careful. Um, if we just blind wrote learn how to calculate the area of a cylinder, then we don't understand which component is which. This part here is the circle bits in the end. And if you don't have the circle bits in the end, then you just do that part. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Good luck with the questions and I'll see you in the next video.